Boy, it was another rough weekend of football for the Carolina Panthers. The Cats are now 0-6 after their loss yesterday to Miami. Carolina has a bye this week, and it really couldn't come at a better time. WFM News 2's Jalen Gilkey tells us why fans should remain optimistic. Yeah, Chad, if you're a Panthers fan, you're probably sitting at home wondering when this losing streak will come to an end or if it's time to pull out the brown paper bags and hide your face. But trust me, it's not quite time to overreact just yet. Even though the Panthers lost their sixth straight game, this time at the hands of the red hot Miami Dolphins, here's what you should leave Sunday's game feeling good about. Yes, the Finns won 42 to 21, but look on the bright side. Franchise quarterback Bryce Young threw for over 200 yards and had no turnovers while completing 60% of his passes, helping Carolina jump out to a 14 point lead over Miami, the largest they've had all season. Now, it's time for some perspective. Several Hall of Fame quarterbacks have had rocky rookie seasons. Just look at Peyton Manning. He threw 28 interceptions in 16 games in his first year with the Colts. And look at him now, one of the greatest to ever do it. Personally, I think what we're seeing from Bryce and the team is a sign of good things to come because honestly, it can only get better <laughs> from here. And just this afternoon, it was announced that head coach Frank Reich will no longer be calling plays. He's handing that duty off to the offensive coordinator, Thomas Brown. So after the bye, we can expect the Panthers to start utilizing hmm. a young core in a new and kind of refreshing way. Does this surprise you, this Frank Reich news? No. No? Not at all. Okay. Um, this is what you have an offensive coordinator for. If you're a head coach, you have so many duties that you have to fill and monitor and supervise. You bring an office coordinator to handle the offense. You know, and you know, I think it's he, his scheme and his place, so why not allow mm. the guy to try it, especially when you, you have nothing to lose at yeah. this point. And right, being a former quarterback probably wants to call the plays, but you, I think he's doing the right thing. He needs to focus on the overall team. This, this is something that we've been talking about for a really long time where we're like, okay, there is hope, but just like breathe, like it's going to yeah. take time. And yeah, Frank Reich has called plays in the past. He called plays in Indianapolis and yep. Philadelphia. Yep. One spot he was successful, one he was not. So I think let's give it another shot because so far it hasn't worked out. Well, Bryce Young, he's 22. Exactly. He's new. Give the guy, like he's got to learn. And he showed so many flashes. He does. Like he made some incredible throws in those first half on Sunday. I'd like, like to see him run a little bit more. I'd like yeah. to see him scramble a little bit more, but we'll see. Man, up 14 nothing though, I was like, is this I know. it? Could this be is it? This Could it? this be it? And then the Tyree <laughs> Hill show took over. That's right. Cheetah. Killing it. Unbelievable. Right? Killing it. Did you see that backflip he did with the with cell the phone? phone? That, I was, hated that. that was probably the I hated that. I've seen in a while. <laughs> the right. Thanks, Jalen. We'll be right back. Thank you.